So that's like the pendulum, the beam of light bouncing between the mirrors, and you could use that, actually, to build a very accurate clock. Then Einstein imagined what that clock would look like if it were moving relative to us. So what I'm going to have happen is Jim is going to be moved along the stage, <laughs> and then we can dim the lights and we can see what that looks like from our perspective. We're stationary relative to Jim. But Jim is seeing, of course, the clock in exactly the way that we pictured it when it was stationary relative to us. The light beam is bouncing up and down between the mirrors. But you saw that from your perspective, watching Jim move, the light took a kind of triangular path as it bounced across the stage between the mirrors. See, this path is obviously longer than this path. So then it is obvious that it must take the light longer to tick for the moving clock than it does for the stationary clock. Moving clocks run slowly. Our time is personal to us. This is what Einstein had discovered. There's no such thing as absolute time. 